Today I will be going on my first blind date. My name is Jewel and I'm 39. Dating is a headache. People have their picks and chooses. They sometimes let society dictate their opinion towards their date. So have you ever experienced dating a person that's short stature? I like wearing makeup, you know, to spice up my look. It brings my outfit together. It gives my eyes a pop. My name is Jewel. I live in Washington, D.C. I'm 24 years old and I'm 3'9". I realized I had a contraplasia when I was probably in elementary school. Why am I smaller than everybody else? And then my parents would, you know, explain to me that I'm not going to be average size. With achondroplasia, you could do anything. It's just a condition. Today I will be going on my first blind date. I'm going with like a simple crop top, jeans, jacket, and a purse. So nothing too much, but nothing boring. People are surprised when I say I have trouble dating. I guess because to them I look very attractive, but they don't understand that. I also carry a lot of attention, so a lot of people is not capable of handling that attention. My name is Owen Moore, I'm 28 years old. I live in Arlington, Virginia, and I work in consulting. In terms of the type of woman I traditionally go for, I definitely would say I don't really have a type. I have a rather eclectic dating history. I'm feeling a little nervous. I would be impressed if my date brought me flowers on our first date. Big, gigantic flowers. Something extravagant. Hi, I'm Owen. Hi. How are you doing? Nice Hi. to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Jewel. How long have you been out here? Well, I live here. I, I'm from Washington. Okay. Oh, so native Washingtonian, born and raised. Have you ever been to like this restaurant before? I heard of it, but this is my first time. If you're hungry, we can definitely check the menu out. Yeah, sure. What are you leaning towards? Uh, this is salad, something simple. I'm, I'm leaning towards probably uh, outside of Cheeseburger, farmhouse bacon burger. Some of my dates, they ask me about my condition, but others, they just, you know, go with the flow. Have you been on any of the apps, like, dating or anything? No, you know, I go out, I'll run into people and, you know, get their number or I'll give them my number. So, you, you know, you go out, you see somebody you like, you work your magic and all that? Well, it's kind of like they come to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No hate here. I, I see you. I can't relate. You know, not many people will come up to me, but I love that for you. Dating in DC is a headache. People have their picks and chooses. They sometimes let society dictate their opinion towards their date. Being in DC has been like really cool to like. Uh, um, I need to go to the restaurant. Okay. Sure. So far, I think the date is going interesting. He seems cool, smart, and outgoing. I noticed he was wearing a polo shirt. It was kind of uh, droopy. You know, I wasn't. <laughs> I know that he noticed that I was small when I got up, so I just wonder what his first impression was about me. So, what was your first impression? Did you know I was small, like? Honestly, I had no clue, like, going into this in terms of any, your name, anything about you, but I wanted to come in with an open mind, and I definitely didn't even notice that until, like, I think you had gone to uh, use the restroom, and I was like, oh, what's that? And, like, I didn't even think about it, because ultimately, I'd rather make sure, like, meet Bob as people and connect and... So, have you ever experienced um, dating a person that's short stature? No, honestly, I haven't. Like, I'm not that tall myself. I think I'm like five six, five seven. Like I said, I'm very open to really anything because you just never know who you're gonna vibe and connect with. But how has your experience been, you know, dating people who might be not as open to that? Has that happened or? Previous dates I've been on, some people love the attention uh, that I brought and others couldn't handle the attention. Now I feel it's a blessing being who I am because people are very interested in me. I feel beautiful, I love myself, so. 
some people are open, some people aren't. I think it's like a confidence thing yeah. for people. Self-awareness. Self-awareness because people would be like, oh, they're gonna be looking at me and this, that, and the other, but it's kind of like, people, everybody has something they wish they could change. Like, just own it, be a good person. Because ultimately, as long as you're comfortable within your own skin, I'm a big believer, like, who cares what other people think? They're gonna always talk. So in terms of, you know, your dating experience here in DC or the surrounding areas, do you think like your height has like, held you back at all or not really? It hasn't held me back. As far as my dating experience, you know, everybody has their preference. Everybody has their dislikes and likes. And in terms of, you know, ideally, like the ideal partner, what, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a person you know, that's self-aware, has confidence, doesn't care about what society has to say about who they date. He has his own opinion. It made sense, for sure. Well, this has been definitely really fun. I'm really glad we got the chance to get together, but I gotta go run and pick up my dog. In terms of how the date went, it was really nice to meet Jules. It's really a good opportunity to meet someone new. I loved it. It was very interesting. Uh, he was, which one? Are you? What? My name? Yeah. Owen. Okay. <laughs> it was interesting meeting you, Owen. Um, for sure, yeah. You seem very smart. Uh, you're very outgoing. I definitely thought Jewel was really friendly, really nice. And, you know, we'll guess we'll see what happens. If she felt differently, you know, it's part of the game. Uh, uh, I think um, not really. Uh, you know, each to his own. No, no hard feelings. You're a cool person. I'm not sure if Owen was attracted to me, but I really don't care. It was surprising that Owen didn't dive deep into, uh, you know, asking me about my achondroplasia. A lot of people have a lot of questions about it, and he didn't have. I didn't really care to open up anyway to him, so. Well, I definitely thought the date was fine. I agree, there wasn't any romantic connection, and I'd be open to hanging out with her as a friend. I don't think her height changed the way I felt about her, honestly. I'm very outgoing, very talkative, and she's more reserved. But I don't think it had anything to do with her height, just who we are as people. Some things that this dating experience has taught me was, you know, everybody has their personal opinion, each to his own. Opinions does not make a person a bad person. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.